Hey guys, this is Afik and today we're moving on with the React and Electron side and we are going to connect everything with our existing API. Uh, the first thing we'd like to do is create a new React application. I'm going to use Create React App. Uh, let's just um, create a new project in our desktop. Um, npx create React App and let's call this one to do's. Just wait for this one to load. Okay, great. Let's just CD into our project and install Electron. So npm install save dev Electron. Okay, so one more dependency I would like to install is Axios so we can do Ajax request or API. And I would also like to um, go into this project and add a script to our package.json uh, for Electron. So Electron and we can do Electron dot and the dot means that just open up the Electron app in the current directory. Um, I need to create an entry point for the Electron app. So let's call this one Electron entry. JS. Okay, now we just need to add this entry point to our package.json. Let's go ahead and do main is source electron entry .js. Now the way it's going to work is we need to run uh, create react app. This one is going to work with our webpack dev server and it's going to run on port 3000 localhost. And we're gonna run this in one tab of the terminal. We'll open up another one, and then we're gonna start Electron. Electron will have the entry point, and we are going to set it up as it's going to load the localhost 3000 uh, URL. And in this way, it's going to load our Create React App application. So let's just go ahead and create this entry point. The first thing we would like to do is import Electron. So const Electron wire electron um, next one is going to be the app so const app equals electron dot app I would like to get the browser window available so we can create a new instance of this one so browser window equals electron dot browser window Okay, so we'll create a variable for our window and now let's create a function that will initialize this window in case it's not exist. Uh, we're going to give it a width and a height and the, the, the URL to load and this is all we need to load for the first time the Electron app. So let's do create window. This is going to create a new instance for this window, so new browser window and the width and the height let's do width of um, 800 and the height is going to be 600. next let's go ahead and initialize the the dev tool so we can debug our application inside the electron app so win dot web contents dot open dev tool now we can add another event listener for when this window is closed. So on close, what we want to do is set the window to null. So the next time we can go back into this function and create a new window. So let's do win equals null. Now when the app is ready, what we would like to do is to call this function. So on ready. I just call create um, window. Okay, the next event I would like to add is called window all closed. I will add this one so once the user closed all our application windows, we can just quit. So app on, let's call it window all closed. Let's create a function that will just call app.quit. 
and the last one when we reactivate our application so on activate I'm just gonna make sure that if our window is null we'll go ahead and create a window okay I think that this is all we need to get this one up and running let's see um, okay so let me open up another terminal window in this one I'm going to do um, npm start okay I need to install my dependencies so just one moment okay now let's try the npm start it will open up in the browser we're just gonna exit out of this because we're gonna use it inside the Electron app and let's go into the other tab desktop to do's uh, sorry desktop to do's and here we're gonna do npm run Electron that tool was disconnected I think we forgot the most important thing which is to actually open up the URL so we're gonna do window dot load URL and the URL is HTTP localhost 3000 this is the one for create react app okay now let's see that it works we go back here npm run electron and now it works great <clears throat> okay um, what I'm going to do right now is just create a simple application for to do's how to add them delete complete just communicate with our API and uh, perform all the functionality we've added before Okay, so once we're done with this, we can just go ahead and build our Electron app and create a DMG file so we can upload and let everybody else download and install. Okay, guys, this is it for this episode. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to create the basic uh, React application inside uh, Create React app. And once this step is done, we can just go ahead and build everything. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.